Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Diddy and on today's video we're going to be taking a look at what's been happening most recently in the world of crypto. I'm also going to take you through what's been happening with Bitcoin, what's been happening with the alts, as well as give you an idea of how you should be responding to the events that are happening in the market currently. Before we get into it, I just want to reiterate that nothing I say in this video should be construed as financial advice. There is absolutely no absolutes in any financial markets. There is only statistics and opinion. Anyone that tells you otherwise shouldn't be trusted. But I'll give you a good idea of what I would be doing right now and potentially what you could be doing as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's start off by just taking a look at Bitcoin. So if you haven't already realized that the entire market is coupled to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin moves down, Ethereum and the alts do too. So whatever approach you are taking to the market, you should always still have a track on Bitcoin. So the important thing is just to know how to respond when Bitcoin makes a strong move either downwards or upwards. So let's just take a look at what is going on there. So around the 10th of November, we did begin a temporary move down, a temporary downtrend for Bitcoin, which has consisted of two sharp drops followed by some sideways movement. Now, last time we experienced a move to this was in about May time. So however, the drop back then was a lot more violent and took us down over like 50%. So if we compare these two moves, we'll see that the the April downtrend lasted about 101 days before we saw a significant move to the upside and we are approximately 51 days into this down movement give or take a few days so a common saying in crypto is that history doesn't repeat however it does rhyme so it's possible we see a similar situation play out here now an important thing to note is that when we get a harsh movement down or upwards, we'll see a wick form. And we do tend to fill this wick over the coming days. So if you can see here, the wick down saw a bottom around 42k for Bitcoin. So it's not out of the question that during this sideways movement, we see Bitcoin retouch that 42k through its movements but the important thing here is to note for me personally between 42k and 53k i'm still classing that as sideways movement so there's no cause for excitement and there's no cause for concern of for any movement between 42 and 53k but what am i doing whilst this is happening whilst the downward movement's happening what whilst the sideways movement's happening so what i'll be doing is taking a look and taking note of which coins are showing strength during these times or relative strength anyway. So what coins are going up whilst the market is going down. So as potentially a little gift to you are uh, more an example of coins that are doing this. So I'll take a look at Luna and Avalanche. So at different points, these two coins have shown strength. They've rallied up whilst the market is going down. But these are two big play layer one projects in the space. And the reason you take note of these projects is because when the market recovers, it's the projects that showed strength during the downtrend that tend to run harder when the market goes back up. Now, I am most definitely not saying go and buy these projects right now. I'm not, don't go and buy Luna and AVAX immediately. What I am saying is that it's coins like this that you should be looking for buying opportunities for, regardless of where the market goes, whether it goes up or down, you should be looking for buying opportunities for the coins that have shown strength during downtrends. Alongside looking at how the charts are doing at the moment, we also need to be looking at the most recent news with the space. So recently, we've had MicroStrategy, one of the largest cryptocurrency investors in the world, announcing a $94 million investment into Bitcoin. We've also had El Salvador adding 21 Bitcoin to their country's balance sheet. Now, as you may know, El Salvador is amongst some of the first countries in the world to have Bitcoin as their legal tender. Now, this is clearly a huge move towards mass adoption for cryptocurrency around the world. So this is great news. Alongside this, though, we are getting a lot of negative news painting cryptocurrency in the bad light, which is commonplace in the crypto space. We are always getting negative news and we will until cryptocurrency is massively adopted. Now, 
while it says negative news, do I view this as a buying opportunity? Absolutely, I do. Good. Do I view this as a buying opportunity for you? I view it as a chance for you all to be doing your own research, as I always say. But there's some great opportunities out there. Make sure you're looking and doing your own research. So whilst the market is moving as it is, one of the things I'll be doing is looking to increase my holdings in projects that I currently believe strongly in long term. So one way to do this is by looking for buying opportunities and buying up dips, and then that will in turn increase my holdings. Another way is yield farming. So yield farming is the process of staking your tokens and lending them out in order to receive a certain level of returns. There is plenty of solutions to this, but one of them I'm gonna to bring to you today is called APY Finance. So as you guys know, I love to bring you projects in their early stages and APY is one of those. However, they do already have a currently great working project, but they still have great things to come. So the process for yield farming on APY would be to simply connect your MetaMask wallet, select which token you'd like to stake, be that USDT, DAI, USDC, which are all pegged to the US dollar. And after that, you'll be using one of any of these various strategies to yield farm automatically for you. And another super useful tool they have, which I love, is that you're able to see your projected growth on your investment over a certain period of time. So we've got seven days to 12 months. You'll be able to see what your investment will be looking like after that period of time. So you don't have to just imagine how much you would have earned by that point. So there is a lot of yield farming protocols out there. So why would you choose APY? out of any of them. So APY is actually doing an automatic yield farming over a diverse selection of pools. So this will one, stabilize your returns as it won't be relying on the performance of one singular token, as well as it will save you on gas. So on some of these other yield farming protocols, or if you um, try and do yield farming manually, you will have to stake your tokens, which will cost gas, then unstake your tokens, which will cost more gas, then stake them in another pool, which will cost more gas. So on APY, you stake them once, you deposit them once, and then you will be have exposure to all these different pools with only one gas transaction. On that point, you can also unstake your tokens at any time while still being exposed to pools and still getting those rewards, which on some protocols you don't get. You have to stake your, uh, your tokens and leave them in there for a certain period of time. Another great thing they have, and you know I love to see, is they have a fully docs team and their team is all accredited and they're all working towards the long-term vision of the protocol. So in terms of the security of the protocol, as we have seen, they have some very accredited de developers um, which, and they have had their audits done. They have had a audit from Hellborn with both a traditional smart contract audit as well as a financial audit which has scanned for all the potential financial exploits and any front running attacks. So going forward the team is looking to bring more utility to the APY token which will include expanding the array of yield farming uh, strategies by introducing new pools as well as introducing Olympus, Pro Olympus Pro's bonding market to create protocol owned liquidity. So whilst the market is acting as it is yield farming is a great tactic to increase your holdings on those long-term projects that you believe in. Why should you do this? Is because when the market goes back up, you have more tokens. So when the market does recover, you'll be in a better position than you have ever been. And APY is just one of those many solutions that you can take in order to get yield farming done for you automatically. So, the moment we have all been waiting for. It's time to announce the winners of the KIFS crypto giveaway for $25 in a crypto of your choice. So, without further ado, can I get a drum roll please? Our winners are Rahan Ibrahim, Dominic Campbell, Weston Gregory, and Zeke. So congratulations all four of you, you have all won $25 in a crypto of your choice. So in order to claim this, I need you all to be subscribed to the channel, following us on Twitter or be in our Telegram group. 
If you guys want to win in the future and want your chance at winning $25 of a crypto of your choice, going forward, we're going to be having a giveaway every single video. So you need to be making sure that you're putting hashtag Chris Kiff's crypto at the end of every single one of your comments. So, sadly, that does conclude our video for today. I hope you've all enjoyed the content. As always, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you're making noise in the comments. I hope you've all enjoyed your holidays. Thank you for watching. I've been Diddy. Goodbye.